right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. The record will please reflect that both of the witnesses answered in the affirmative. As you experienced witnesses well know, your full written statement by unanimous consent will be allowed on the record. We ask you to summarize. Uh, in Pakistan, the government of Pakistan uh, has made clear from the beginning that there are certain red lines which cannot be crossed, most importantly, ground troops. They do not wish any American military presence on the ground, and we fully respect that. So we can take that off the table. However, supporting Pakistan in every possible way is of the highest priority to the United States. For example, we have an integrated White House, Treasury, State Department team on its way to Pakistan now to talk to them about how we can uh, help their economy more. They're facing some deadlines from IMF loans. They're facing very tough set of problems, and we want to show assistance in every way. One is winding down, and the other will immediately follow for that. Um, Ms. Watson, your record. Oh, we are downgrading our efforts to eradicate crops with spraying, a policy we think was totally ineffectual. But we're going to increase efforts on interdiction and going after the, after the drug lords. So we're not downgrading narcotics. We're downgrading crop eradication and upgrading agriculture. Let me uh, ask that my entire statement be placed in the record. Without objection, so ordered. And let me... Um uh, spraying the crops just penalizes the farmer, and they grow crops somewhere else. And our hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars we've spent on crop eradication has not had any damage to the Taliban. On the contrary, it's helped them recruit. In my experience in U.S. government foreign aid, and I began my career with AID in the 1960s, this is the least effective program ever. Uh, reversing the situation in Afghanistan is going to take. Please answer. 